Right, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to put in flexible material on your Ultimaker 2. The material that we'll be using is Polyflex, which is made by Polymaker. It's a fully flexible um, 3D printing filament. I'll just show you up close what it looks like. It's got a bit of a gloss to it when it's on the spool and it, and it has some stretch as well. Um, one of the great things about this filament is that it prints really, really easily, um, often with flexible materials on the Ultimaker 2, you might have trouble uh, printing, but this you can print at quite high speeds, we're going to be doing it at about 50 millimeters per second, and yeah, I'll take you through how to set up the file now, and then we'll show you it printing. Okay, so we'll just go into Google and find Thingiverse, which is a great website for finding 3D printing files. We'll go on there, there's loads of files on here, and you can search for literally anything. And we're going to look for an iPhone 5 case because that's the phone that we've got to test our material on. And as you can see, there's loads of files that have been uploaded by different people. And we'll just select one of those. So let's go with um, that one, doesn't look too bad. So we'll go with that, I think. And open it up, and you can take a closer look at the design file. That all looks pretty good, nice and simple, and should print really well. And if we want to download it, you just go into Thing File, and click, and it will begin to download. Okay, so now we want to just drop that file that we've downloaded into Cura. And as you can see, that's shown up. It looks all pretty decent. We'll take a look in the layers mode just to check that it's all going to print okay. There's no obvious um, overhangs that would cause us many problems. The only slight bit is the little gap where the buttons will go, but I'm going to leave that without any supports this time just to see how it turns out. And as you see on the left, I've got a layer height of 100 microns, and uh, we're going to do 100% infill and 50 millipedes meters per second print speed. So I'll just save the file and we're ready to go. Okay so let's go over to the printer. We want to customize the settings slightly. So if you go into customize there and then temperature, 210 is what you'd print PLA at and uh, we're going to go with 225 for Polyflex. It'll just help it flow out a little bit better. And then if we go back to the main menu and insert our SD card that we've saved the file to, and then go print and select the iPhone 5 cover, push the button again, and we're ready to go. It'll begin heating up and then start laying down the filament. Here's our finished iPhone case. I'll just give you a close up view. And you can see that the Polyflex is printed really well and the layers are hardly visible at all. We only printed this at 100 microns. You can see that the underside has got a really glossy underside finish. That's where it's been on the glass bed of the Ultimaker. But I'll just try it out on the phone, which I've got here. Should fit quite snugly. And there you go. That fits on nicely.
obviously you could create your own iPhone cases or whatever phone you've got case um, and print away with Polyflex. Um, if you've got any questions or if you've got any examples of prints you've done yourself, why don't you um, leave a comment in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.